I want to send it over now to Matt and Paul. All right, quick check of what's going on. We've been talking about tornadic weather, but yeah. now a difference here, Paul. A lot of flooding. Yeah, Jolly, yeah. This is over in Montana. And look at the flood waters there. Man, the roadway's just totally covered. Nice current to that water, too. A log jam sent water gushing through the streets yesterday morning. Here's the bad news. At least 50 homes flooded and several people were evacuated. You see them carrying out the sandbags there, trying to protect some businesses. What a mess. And that water, look at that. So yeah. nasty, too. It's muddy and probably full of debris, Matt. Ugh. Yeah, not good at yeah. all. And just a reminder, Paul, you know, we still have the Mississippi River down through portions of uh, Tennessee all the way uh, to New Orleans still flooding as well. So we, we have uh, flooding. We have tornadic weather. We have uh, I mean, just bad weather in many areas of the country. Thankfully, we're still quiet. Again, 71 degrees outside right now under mainly clear skies, just some high clouds out there. By the lunch hour, 88. Noontime, 80. I'm sorry, 5 p.m., 94 have a risk of some isolated storms here. Some of those storms could have some uh, gusty winds. They'll be the well out to the west. In fact, I think the real risk is going to be along the I-81 corridor and points west of that. We're 72 right now in Ashland, the same in Petersburg, 71 in Richmond. I got 72 in uh, South Hill as well this morning. All right, on the satellite picture, here's what I'm watching. Big system sitting and spinning now in portions of Missouri. You can see it's kind of tracking off to the north and east, which is good news. The cold front associated with it stretches all the way back down into portions of the Gulf Coast states. And again, today, the severe weather risk really lies in kind of this oval that I'm drawing for you right there from Pennsylvania along Interstate 81 in Virginia, back through West Virginia and down into portions of uh, eastern Tennessee. Again, in this area, this is where we could be talking about some strong damaging winds, some hail, maybe an isolated tornado or two, but the overall threat is minimizing or limiting or getting less, however you want to say it, which is good compared to the past couple of days because we've had just a tremendous outbreak with this system. All right, real quick, here we go. Hourly weather, 5 o'clock this evening, mainly clear skies. Again, that isolated storm possible out along the I-81 corridor, but back here in central Virginia, Low 70s tonight, mainly clear. Friday morning, beautiful sunshine as you head into work. I'm going to transition the day over to partly sunny skies, though, as this weather system gets closer. And around 5 o'clock in the evening, we could be looking at some scattered storms back to our west. And some of these may push into Metro Richmond around 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. The key here, though, we're fighting with the uh, cooling of the day at that point. The sun is setting, so they may diminish before they reach us. But I'm going to keep that thread in there just in case. Then look at your Saturday, 87 and mostly sunny. Sunday, 91. Memorial Day, Monday, 94. And we are hot next week as well. Time for more news.